Well, coming up, we're going to head to the Northeast, guys. In fact, let's just do it right now. That's a live look at Niagara Falls. Little gloomy, right? We got some showers, and guess what? We actually have wind chills. We haven't had wind chills just yet this season. Now we do. Uh, feel like temperature of 41. So the general weather feel in the Great Lakes in the Northeast today, a little grumbly. I will say the 95 corridor, we're going to have a little glimmer as we go into the afternoon because we'll actually be in the dry slot of this entire setup. So we have this power. Powerful pinwheel, this area of low pressure parked over the Great Lakes, and that trailed a band of pretty substantial rain over the 95 corridor while most of us were sleeping. Right now, it's still in coastal areas of New England, stretching from Rhode Island all the way up into Maine. Now, in between those two features is where we'll feature maybe some afternoon breaks of sunshine for the 95 corridor, but as of right now, this is a little bit of an unsettled start. We have leaves on the ground. We have wet pavement. Take it slow. Here's a look at the low, that upper level support over the Great Lakes. That's why you see that nice little pinwheel rotating counterclockwise. Uh, relatively colder air locked up with this, and that colder air is moving right over the Great Lakes. Water temps right now in the Great Lakes are running five, six degrees above average for this time of year. So there's a big temperature difference between the water and the air and that creates the instability. So this is very similar to what we would talk about for lake effect snow. It's just not cold enough for snow, so we're dealing with lake effect rain and thunderstorms, and yes, sometimes that can lead to water spouts and isolated severe weather. This morning, not seeing severe weather warnings, good news to pass along, but we have had some rumbles of thunder over the Tug Hill Plateau and also off the shores of Lake Erie. So here's the overall setup, and this weather pattern kind of stays in place because this upper level low kind of lingers for the next couple days. It brings in that cool air. There's the mild water temperatures and wabam. It works like magic. It's so cool to watch lake effect rain or snow. I always find it so impressive because you have areas that don't really get as much and other areas where you get a couple inches of rain. In fact, we could see parts of northeast Ohio maybe get more than two inches of rain. So here's a look at the shores of Lake Erie. Again, might see a big jump in rain totals for Ashtabula. Then you go out towards, you know, Warren, PA, and you have less. And again, that's going to change. Lake effect weather very much ebbs and flows by the wind direction. Small change in that wind direction can make a huge difference in what you encounter. Now, I do want to call your attention to this, our exclusive Fox weather model. Notice that by Thursday and Friday, it almost looks like we have popcorn over the Great Lakes. That's the cold air really taking shape. So we'll see less folks impacted by rain maybe by Thursday evening, but the folks that do get the rain, it's going to be these quick bursts. It becomes very convective, like convective showers and thunder showers that are moving on through, and we'll keep the weather pattern unsettled through Friday morning. Here's a look at the Tug Hill Plateau and also moving down towards uh, northwest Pennsylvania. Good chance of rain. You can see the wind direction change, and, of course, that changes the trajectory of these showers as they move in off of Lake Erie. Keep those umbrellas handy, folks, but got to be honest with the wind. Might be better just to go with a raincoat. Well, still ahead, we're going to head back to our main story. Tropical Storm Melissa. 